Well, good morning, everybody. Rob Realistic coming at you from the box truck, box truck Friday, even though it's not Friday. We are going to make a video right now, which is me and you and you. Okay? Okay. All right. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Some of you know I have a trucking side of me. I have a I have a truck, a C10 side of me. There's three there's three sides of me, okay? I have a C10 side of me, I have a mountain bike side of me, and then some of you may know from the back in the past, and some of you may know or may not know, I have a trucking side of me. My YouTube channel started out as me trucking. I drove over the road for three years, I vlogged or made videos, I don't exactly know what I did but I've been watching this youtuber damn it and uh, for, for a company I used to work for I used to work for CFI there's my ring right there and you know this he's, he's a rookie uh, I guess going into the trucking and he's gotten me into uh, wanting to go back over the road but I can't because I'm married I have two kids and yeah I just can't do that so um, but he has inspired me to get back into the vlogging of my daily duties I'm going into this uh, I'm going into this uh, Dunkin Donuts to get my uh, coffee I get it every day I pay a dollar for coffee here at least for this month and then um, and then I have to pay full price I guess after next month but we'll see but I gotta go in here get my cup of coffee Dunkin Donuts coffee they know me by name it's it's hilarious they call me hey Robert hey Robert what's up Rob what's up Rob so yeah let me get my coffee real quick shit well I got my coffee my beautiful hot hot coffee the only thing that sucks about this Dunkin Donuts is getting out of here is a bitch if I go that way I have to cross traffic like that guy is and that's gonna take forever especially with a slow box truck like this but if I go this way I have to go down some bumpy ass roads if you guys are from Tucson then you know that this is um, flowing wells from Grant it goes near the Saya yard road right now is not that bad but once we get around this curve fucking game over this is going out of my way to get to my first delivery but at the same time uh, it's just easier on me stress wise I don't I don't like traffic I really don't like traffic I can't stand traffic it, it stresses me out and that's why I want to go back over the road thank you Thank you, uh, riding with Dave for the inspiration to go back over the road. I don't want to, though, because I do have a family. And my family has made it clear. I've even expressed it to them. Like, hey, I want to go back over the road. And they're like, nope. You're not doing it. We like you home. You're staying home. The problem I see is, is, uh, you know, I left my family for three years. Got a CDL hazmat and all this good shit just to drive a box truck so i did all that for me to drive a box truck which is weird because the youtuber that i watch riding with dave he was a box truck driver and he left driving a box truck to go over the road he did exactly the opposite of what i've done i left for three years became an over the road driver and i'm driving a box truck yeah yeah that's my life that's my life in a nutshell. I didn't even need, this is a class B box truck. It's not even a class, I had a class B too. I was a school bus driver uh, for TUSD for a little bit. I don't, I don't know how long, I would say at least a year. I had my class B, I got it through TUSD. It was a free school, like they, they paid for it. I mean, actually they didn't even pay for it. It was in house, so there was no paying for it. But I guess now what they're doing is they're sending everybody to a third party place and then you have to have a year 
sign on with them a contract to be a bus bus driver and they'll pay for your schooling but then if you leave it's just like trucking you got to pay them back and i don't know of any school bus districts that will buy contracts from other companies so it's like if you're going to be a school bus driver it's not worth it now i used to say to people if you want to become a cdl driver class a driver start small first and then see if you like it and then if you do then move up to the big stuff like a bus driver or a box truck driver and if you like it and you enjoy it and you can handle it then become a class a driver don't just jump right into a class a a big truck 53 foot truck and a sleeper and you can't stand it like you know what i mean you can't stand it and you you think you made a, a mistake well it's not for everybody but for me i enjoy i enjoy driving i mean my job i get paid to drive i mean you go out you get up in the morning you drive to work you drive around and you drive home like you're getting paid to drive 90 percent of the time is driving 10 percent of the time is actually working let me take a sip of my coffee it's just been burning my fingers this whole time I gotta make sure they put sugar in it because I asked them for cream and sugar, one extra sugar. And like I got the other day, they didn't even put any sugar in it. I drank that whole cup of coffee with no sugar. Ugh. It's disgusting. CFI, I miss you guys. Like I really do, I miss CFI. Um, you know, seeing the way that this uh, YouTuber drives, right? he reminds me a lot of myself when I was driving a truck. He really does. Like, he has no idea who I am. I've commented on his page before and be like, bro, you need to do this, this, that, like not like trying to be a dickhead or anything, just be like, hey, you're having problems with the backing. Like he's got this dock thing, right? Where he, he backs into a dock and the truck will jump around because it's an automatic. Well, there's a hill assist switch on the truck. That's what causes the jumping around is the, the brakes are engaged because it's thinking automatically you're on a hill. So the brakes will be engaged and once you hit the throttle then it lets off the brakes so this way you can go but you're already throttled at the time and that's why the truck jumps down here on the dash somewhere on his on his kenworth t680 there is a toggle switch and it is green and it has a truck and it's kind of cockeyed or tilted and it has a slash through it that's the hill assist button if you push it up or down i can't remember which way but if you flip it switch it a display will come up on the dash hill assist off then you can just feather the throttle as if it was a manual so this was a problem that i was having when i was driving i was it was getting so frustrating to drive a truck that when you went because i when i first started with conway i had a 13 speed okay and it was awesome because i can control my my gears and my shift and everything i mean it was awesome I knew how to float, downshift float, everything. I mean, I still, I still know how to do that. But <clears throat> the point is, it was a pain in the ass when they swapped me to the first automatic fleet that they came into play. My truck was 36790, no, 390, I forgot what it is. Here's a picture of my truck right here. This is the truck that I had. And whatever, whatever that says, 39. 39 something i know it's a 39 number 39104 if i can remember correctly i'm not looking at a picture but i think it's 39104 i think mine was the first set of trucks that came in i was like one of the first hundred trucks that came in and it was an automatic well when i was backing in to docks and everything i fucking was hitting these docks like tearing up the trucks and it looked like i was tearing up the docks and everything well, I was like, hill assist, like what is, what is this? And I flipped the switch and sure shit, that solved my problems. And I keep seeing him backing in to these docks and he keeps, the truck keeps jumping around on him. All he's gotta do is flip that switch and he's, the problem is solved. And he might've seen the, he might've seen the comments, you know, he might've seen the comment, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, but if anybody knows, uh, I've already, and I've even sent him a video like once before about um, tandems, which I've, what I'm doing with this guy's videos is I'm actually watching him from the very first trucking and I'm working my way up to present. And I think I'm like seven videos away. Anytime he releases a new video though, I watch it. And it seems to me as like a while ago, he was actually able to figure out or somebody had already told him about the tandem rule about how 
when you have a load and you're unsure, you put the, the, the center of the rear axle halfway. Well, this is my, this is my formula. What he was told was, is you put the rear axle lined up with the back of the pallet, the last pallet. That's not what I do. I take the center of the rear axle, right? And I line it up with the middle of the last pallet. So if the pallet's this big, I put the center of the rear axle straight in the middle. And that to me, I'm not even kidding guys, 99% of the time was accurate and even. I didn't have to adjust anything and there's a video on YouTube that shows that, you know, it shows you that I show you what the, the weight and everything was, it sucks. Um, but yeah, anyway, all right guys, Rob Realistics out, peace.